Hi, my name is Joey and I have a story. I was raised in a broken family, you know, and um, I had eight brothers and sisters, you know, and we all lived in a two bedroom house. And, um, you know, they say you're kind of born an addict, but I really don't believe that. You know, I believe it, it all, it, it all has to do with your childhood. You know, it all has to do with your past. When I got to a teenager, you know, it was, it was the thing, you know, was drinking and smoking pot. And, and then, uh, you know, I got around the wrong crowd one night and, you know, ended up getting sexually assaulted, assaulted as a young teen, you know, and for a long time I masked, I masked it over that, you know, tried to fill the void, you know, with drugs and alcohol because of the pain and I, you know, at first I, you know, went to questioning my sexuality. You know, and, sex, and questioning who I was as a, as a person. You know, was it my fault? You know, why did why did this happen? And you know, and then uh, that just progressed as the years went on. Um, you know, and I lost my mom, dad, and my grandpa. You know, around um, the same time in the year 2009. You know, and that just kicked everything off. More alcohol, heavier drugs. Um, you know, and my life just spiraled out of control. You know. It was February 4th. That night, I've done enough drugs to blow up uh, any human's heart. The next morning, um, I had my mind convinced that, you know, something was wrong. I couldn't do enough drugs to make myself go away, you know, and I couldn't mask it anymore. And, you know, um, that's when I looked in the mirror, you know, and I seen myself in the mirror and I splashed some water on my face, you know, and I said, you know what, I need to go to rehab. Just the only thing, the only word I could put on it is, you know, the moment of clarity, the moment that God grabbed a hold of me, you know, and said, look, if you do this, you're, you're not going to make it. You know, in the state of mind I was in, you know, um, there was no, no want to go to rehab, you know. It was the fact that God had, had pushed out and shut out all the drugs for that five minutes for me to look in the mirror and actually you know, walk out the door and jump in my car and, and drive. When I met Alfredo in rehab, he asked me about my Bible, you know, and I, I looked down and he asked me if I ever read it, you know, and I looked at him and I said, I said, man, God ain't done nothing for me. And I flung my Bible across the room. And um, that's when um, the conversation went from quiet to really, he got angry about it you know and he asked me he said what did God do to you you know God ain't ever done nothing to you God has been there for you God's you know he's he's held your hand through that you may have let go of him and he never let go of you you know and I had nothing to, I just after he pulled off and started going with scriptures and he's doing this to the Bible and looking at me and I'm just following like a little baby you know and that's just the power of God you know to work through him you know, to get to me. I mean, I'm talking about weight was getting lifted off me. And um, and I think that was God letting me know, hey, I'm here and I haven't left you. I think God, um, God uses me on a daily basis. Um, you know, and it, it, even if it's uh, for reinsurance for other people like today, you know, I was at a customer's house, and they're real Christian people, and and I don't know how what's brought this conversation up, but you know, my past come up, and I kind of told my story to this homeowner, you know, and she said, "Well, I will pray for you," and you know, and he was like, "Man, I, I really needed to hear that." You know, I don't know if he wanted to admit it or not, but it was more more or less reassurance that God's there, and God, you know, God can change people. I definitely would tell you that. You know, God has never left you, and God will not leave you, and God is there. I know the pain you're feeling inside, that um, you feel hopeless and down and out, um, that there may not be a God, um, but just know there is God, and there is life beyond the, beyond the tunnel. You know, the love that God has for somebody, you know, is, is the sky's the limit, you know. Um, that's exactly what I'm going to tell him. Jesus is is a full cup. <laughs> yeah. 
these bifocals. 